Hello YouTube of you, um, you join me again. I am Nye from the Finale Guitar Studio in Sheffield. Um, today I'm going to be talking about a strumming pattern common in um, it's a kind of country style strumming pattern I suppose. Um, it sounds like this. kind of thing um, and in this video I'm just going to be breaking it down um, to how you do it and a few different variations of it so we're going to start with something that sounds like this um, and the first thing about this is I'm I'm doing it in the key of G, uh, it's a good key to do it in. Um, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the bottom string, the bottom E string, um, and the A string as our root strings. So that's going to be the notes G and uh, B. So it's going to go like that. You've got these two root notes alternating. So to start off with, we'll just uh, we'll stick with a G chord, and we're going to go pluck the bottom string. Um, you can rest your heel of your hand on the bridge to do this. That's not a good technique generally, but for this it sounds nice, so uh, we'll stick with it. Um, you pluck the bottom string with your thumb. You hit. You've got one of these four fingers for each of the top strings. So your little finger does the highest pitched E string. And you, then you've got one each working your way down like that. So you're going to hit those strings with those fingers. So it's going to be like that. And for now, we'll just alternate the two bass notes. So we'll go. Like that. Uh, try that slowly and see how you get on. If you've got long nails like me, then uh, so much the better. It'll make a nice click noise when you hit them. If not, just tap them with the ends of your fingers. Um, and what you want to try and do is hook your fingers kind of under the strings as you do that. Like that. So that when you pull back up again, that happens. So this time it's going to be... So you've always got to remember the rhythm is one, two and two, two and one. Two and two, two and one, two and two, two and one, two and two, two and like that. So I'll play it very slowly on a loop. I'll just try and play along and we'll see how we get on. Here we go. One, two, three and. So that's what we do for G. Um, for C, I'm going to be using this shape. Um, you've probably seen it before. It's basically that's a G chord, and you take the um, your middle finger and your index finger, and you move them both up a string, and that gives you a nice country and westerny kind of C chord. So for this one, I'm going to do exactly the same thing, except that I'm missing out the bottom E string. So the root, the two, the two root notes are going to be um, C and E on the A string and the D string. So it's going to be... And everything else is exactly the same. So you're going one, hit and two, hit and one, hit and two, hit and like that. So let's try, I'm going to put the two together. Here we go, we'll have um, 
four bars, uh, four beats of uh, G, and we'll have four beats of C. One, two, three, and. One, two, and one. Two, two, and one. Two, and two. 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 Sorry, that wasn't four. I can't count to four. <laughs> one, two, 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 and three, two, and four, two, and one, two, and two, two, and three, two, and four, two, and one, two, and two, two, and three, two, and four, two, and one, two, and two, two, and three, two, and four. Cool. The next one, the last chord in the sequence, is going to be D major. Um, and for D major, because D is the root note, we're going to have to um, invert the order of the bass notes. So where before we had a low bass note followed by a higher bass note, now we're going to have D followed by a lower A in the bass. So it's going to go D string and then A string. Like that. So... Um, when you put the three together, you get a, a country western song, um, and you can use this technique with many other chords. If you were going to do it with A, for example, uh, you'd have A as your root note followed by E, so it would be... Let's have one more example for E major, it would be E and B in the roots, so it would be... So you get the idea, um, I hope that's been helpful too, and in the next video I'm going to be talking about adding some hammer-ons to that pattern to get the full-on uh, Nashville vibe. Thanks for watching, I shall see you in the next part.